Hello, hello. Back with World Cup action, Dominion action. We have Canada B, the second Canadian team against USA A, the first US team. Marcusin representing the Canada side. Wolf Rat representing USA side. So I need to actually pull up the table, the um, results to show you what's happening because something exciting has happened. So I think I need to click this one. And then we could get to the um, get to the group standing. So you'll see this is where this action is happening. Group C action. USA out in front. Four matches left. Canada B at the bottom of the table. But taking on the top of the table. So they have to flip the table basically. You need to have a good match against USA here to make the first two. The first two make it onto the next round. Canada A. Look at this. Very interesting. Tied with France, separated by a superior tiebreaker. Three matches left. We have some exciting action ahead of us. Now back to the kingdom. We need to do big kingdom. We need to do big kingdom. There's too many cards in this kingdom. My word. Young Witch adds an 11th card to the pile. All right, let's see what's happening with the players here. So we have Canada on first player opening with a cargo ship pouch and play here with the extra buy sewers palace i'm just calling random cards now right i'm not actually looking at a strategy here so yeah remodel and sewers can be used to thin down rather quickly that is true that is true let me just hop on um discord here in case anybody wants to listen to me all right cool that is done and bridge bridge is the key right bridge plus engineer bridge by itself many many bridge things could happen i don't think you care about the young witch because you could trash with both remodel and sewers that is quick trashing two cards that's it young witch anyway so cargo ship young witch for marcusin this is also a young witch and cargo ship open well, look at me. These players making me look foolish talking about um, talking about Young Witch not being that hot. All right, Silver for Marcusin. And they will have Terminal Collision that also missed the shuffle. That's rough. It's like they opened twice. You see that? Three and then four again. <laughs> All right, and second cargo ship for Warfrat. So they get their... Young Witch out, get a curse in. Misses the shuffle. Too bad about the second player there, mate. And on three, perhaps a silver. And oh, I see. So they converted their cargo ship into an animal fair, did Wharf Rat. Five. Are we looking at an inn? Yeah, we are looking at an inn. All right. And. Here's the potion for Marcusin. This is good. I like the potion. I like the alchemist rolling. There's the tracker. The sl off sometimes slept on tracker. Very nice. I must applaud that decision by Warfrat. I must applaud that decision by Warfrat. That's silver. And the silver goes into the cargo ship. Alchemist will get stored in Marcusin's cargo ship. Ready for next turn. Look at this big... Animal fair. Four coin for a gold. Alright, alright. So there's some palace points now for Wolf Rat. I wonder if they're thinking about making that a big part of their strategy. This is a great draw for Marcusin. Wow. Finding the potion and the young witch. Um, more animal fair for Wolf Rat. Alright, so now this is starting to develop a pattern, right? Young witch, double animal fair. Trash in the tracker. Trash the tracker. Trash the tracker could do so much work for you. Anyways, let's see what Warfrat is up to. Because this looks now quite different from Marcus. And they had enough turns to get potion if they wanted. But instead have opted for a pair of animal fairs right now. Alright, Marcus in with the sewers finally. And the tracker. Still nothing to um, trash with. 
Here's our gold for Warfrat. All right, they looked at this board and they saw money, it seems. Here's another gold stored in the cargo ship. I think Marcusin is fine, though. I understand the animal fares a lot of money, but bridge is still bridge. Right? This is a nice turn for Marcusin here. Just, um... A solitary remodel combined with this sewers, and I think they're in decent shape. But I, I could be wrong, because Warfare is going to push the game quickly to an end here, right? Look at this, look at this. Tracker, top deck. That alchemist, the other alchemist back on top of the deck too. Ooh. Ooh, feels good. That feels good. I, I guess... I don't know what the thought process is here. Yeah, just top deck the alchemist to move on. Okay, province. Yeah, here we go. Race against the clock now for Marcusin. Uh, they've committed to this more engine line. What do they put in their cargo ship? Like this, this outpost, bridge engineer. I, I'm sorry. I, I like Marcusin's deck way more than Warfrat's. And that's not just because I'm covering the Canadian side. The outpost, I think, is a little early, but whatever. Maybe it'll do work. Okay, on, I think they have to play the tracker here, though, not the outpost. Yeah, look, 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 look. They can't even trash twice. No! No! That's too bad. That is too bad. But, okay, as soon as I see Marcus and pick up a remodel, I'll feel a lot more comfortable. Here, buy the remodel, put it in the cargo ship, and then just go to town. The Young Witch is nice in the sense that it will put some purple between Warfrat's yellow cards. Outpost or cargo ship? What's your decision looking at this here? Do you play the outpost? Do you play the cargo ship? Interesting decision. No potion found, though. No potion found. The last turn the outpost wasn't played. This turn the outpost wasn't played. You know, perhaps it was too early. Had it been an inn, for example, here, it would have looked much better. Much better. Now there's an uncomfortable decision to be made. Mm, perhaps cargo ship and put an inn in there you know the the outpost and four is okay too you get the remodel i hope i hope marcus for his sake has the remodel on him what plays none of them i think they meant to play the outpost no oh what what why no outpost? Confusion ensues. Okay. Gold for Warfrat. So piling up on the points via the palace as well as the provinces. Alright, this is our fine top deck here for them. With the sun's gift. Couple alchemists they see and a couple alchemists alchemists will go back on top of the deck here. Remodel or engineer is great too. Someone pointed out in chat engineer also trashes so you could gain two things and trash like a second push. No, no, why? And another tracker. Okay, the tracker is probably to buy another animal fair. Probably, right? Probably. Probably. But we need the trash in, mate. And we need the actions for the bridges as much as possible. So you don't really want to be playing anything other than bridge and outpost. I guess the young witch until the curses are empty. So here... Oh, I see why they top deck the um, potion. Okay, they wanted to ensure a good outpost turn. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright deck tracking at work here i don't think it's great for the deck in general but for that particular turn 
I understand. So here the outpost has to come down, another alchemist, fine, fine. And we have a great outpost turn probably here. Yeah, because the other portion is here, the alchemist gets top decked as well as the one that is bought, I imagine. You know, the remodel could turn the estates into bridges and then trash curses along the way. There's, there's a lot of potential here for them. I know with the bridges they could just buy silvers and gold too. And coppers. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have palace points as well. Why not play the tracker? Alright, so I, I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Really. This man has caused me to relapse into my um, Trinidadian accent ways. All these animal fairs. Oof, this is rough. Where's an inn when you need one? And no potion, even though there are two in the deck as well. Sag times. This is big Sag. They'll have to spend a couple turns regrouping this deck here. Not really. They can buy an inn and shuffle back all the alchemists. Oh, look, there's one potion. Ha. <laughs> Problem, Marcus. <laughs> Triggering the sheepdog there is fine. It brings you closer to the end of that wretched shuffle. Oh, there's an alchemist in this wretched shuffle. How nice. Find alchemist. Oh, they find the potion. Cheers. That's good. Okay, so they didn't spend that much time recovering, which is good for them. This next turn should be good for them as well. Yep. There we go. So now they have a couple inns, which is good for them. Warfrat is continuing racking up the golds and silvers there. I mean, Marcusin has to do something because your boy could just buy golds and silvers. Where are the inns? Why Why is this happening to my boy? <laughs> I don't even know if Marcusin is a boy. <laughs> Woo! Alright, Animal Fair, Potion, Alchemist, and Inn. Are you fed up of. <laughs> All this terminal collision already. Either way, okay, if you don't want the bridges and you want what is happening? Gold. I was just about to say something. Just about to say something, and then I see the buys and it's not consistent with what I want to say. Why you do this to me? Why? Why you do this? Alright, here's Animal Fair for Warfrat with another gold. Alright, alright. Lots of alchemists. The deck still isn't under control though. And we have lots of inns now, finally. Alright, there's the young witch. Delivering a curse. Great. Great, great. And we get... Oh, well, yeah, we can get to the end of the deck here if we want. Probably don't want to go all the way to the end. Look, look, this is your opportunity. Now is the time. Now is the time. Remodel. Remodel. Please. Please. Trudeau, Trudeau wants a remodel. Trudeau wants the remodel. Yes! 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 <laughs> and the sheepdog draw as well. And top deck in the remodel. Look. Tracker. Tracker is too good. Tracker is too good. Alright. Check me out here. Outpost remodel potion into in trash the curse. And I don't know what you buy. Something. Probably another alchemist. Yeah. Yeah. There's the remodel. Animal Fair. Uh, oh, they're going for province now, is it? It looks so. Why else would you remodel an Animal Fair? For gold. I was wrong. So what I was going to say before those series are buys is maybe he just wants to get a lot of provinces very quickly. So buy all the alchemists. To give animal fair plus buy and then you have 
inns at Animal Fairs to play maybe two, three, four of them. That's a lot of money. Plus your remodel, you know, you could get three or four in a turn, that kind of thing. Plus your outpost, you probably kill the province pile in one turn, so to speak. One outpost plus regular turn. Um, I see a gold now. So maybe they're still thinking along those lines. Even this curse pile will give Animal Fair the plus buy, right? Hmm. Eight alchemists. Still not enough um, to get all the way to the end of the deck. Alright, one animal fair, some money. Okay, so they will pursue the provinces now, and I assume this is an alchemist. I still think they're in a good position. Yeah. I still think Marcusin is in a good position. So this is probably province for Warfrat. Alright, so the point difference is 18 between them, which is three provinces. The game could end this turn, I think. I really think the game could end this turn. There must be some manner of remodel gold into province by province that wins here. The Young Witch will trigger, more likely than not, you have to think, as Marcuson. Yeah, there you go, now your animal fares give you buy. So you could get rid of pouches easily. And you get to thin every time you remodel as well. Plus little sheepdog will draw cards when you remodel. So let's see. I think there's a win here. Tracker. That's... I don't think that's how you start the win. But let's see if it's still possible regardless. Alright, so there's one animal fair. Alright, hit him. Hit him province you could even take the alchemist here hit 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 i think you have to hit yeah province and gold okay fine um and i think three is possible here i hope they're looking for the win clearly as the tension rises my um <laughs> my bias shows itself clearly Alright, so end of the line, uh, they need to hope to see the remodel actually, so it wasn't as clear cut because the deck is so big, so big. Still no remodel. And also, I prefer to play these kind of strategies than money strategies. Okay, here's the remodel. Can you win? Can you win? You could even just remodel province into province, buy two of them. Yes? I think they see it. Yes, they do. Alright, that's one game to Canada. This has to be enough money, right? I didn't count properly, it's exactly enough. Alright, cheers. Okay, so they went the animal fair route instead of the bridge route, and it worked out. Okay, let me mute that very quickly before you all hear loud things loud unpleasant things actually all right so we're on to game two let's get big big kingdom all right this is much more compact than the last one <laughs> i have to scroll for the last one all right we have a kingdom devoid of actions so that's nice completely devoid of actions so let's see what the players opt to do you have ooh, 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 war for at opening with a guardian so this is a trick to get to five on your first turn for a ill gotten gains marcuson could have done the trick as well but opted for salvager silver which I think is reasonable as well. I think Salvager will play a role, obviously early, but also in the end game. And we have a quick ill-gotten gains rush here. So these turns almost uh, play themselves. You buy ill-gotten gains when you can, and when you can't, you buy treasure, like silver usually. Okay. 
So I think Marcuson is down on the ill-gotten gains count, 3-1. to one. Picks up our Guardian there. Here is going to be another ill-gotten gains. Improvement to Salvager, very nice. Very nice from Wolf Rat. I like the Salvager. I think there are some tricks near the end of the game. Let's see. Ill-gotten gains for Wolf Rat. Missing. Ill-gotten gains there. Picking up our Salvager again on 4. Alright. Ill-gotten gains for Marku Sin. I've lost count of who has how many now. Especially with Salvager. Trash and Curses. I guess we'll see at the end of the game. Okay, they trash one with our salvager, Wolf Rat, to buy the last one. Okay, I presume our Guardian is what you get here now. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Alright, back to Marcusin. Probably will take the one point in Curse. No. Alright, changes on estate into our silver. That's fine. Salvager... Alright, curse instead of the ill-gotten gains. Oh, perhaps they want to do the ill-gotten gains instead. Ah, they want to gain two guardians. So we have a pile running on the guardians. Something to keep in mind. So the guardians are being bought here because they're good money for the next turn. They don't plan to see them immediately or again, I think. I think, I really know. Alright, first duchy for Warfrat ahead on the points, but Marcusin answers with a province, which is met with a black cat from Warfrat, giving him the draw, which gives them the enough money for a duchy. This black cat is such a problem. Seriously, even when it's not handing out curses. Okay, duchy for Marcusin. Guardian for Warfrat. Marcusin probably continues on the duchy pile. And now it's a question of where are the salvagers. So Warfrat finds one here, gets them to province. Marcusin finds one now. And they they actually cannot get the province. Unless they trash one. So let's see, they opt for Duchy and and I state this black I swear this black cat. Okay, so double guardian for Warfrat. One point ahead is Warfrat. This is a critical duchy to get. Makes Warfrat think very carefully whether or not they want this duchy. That would be the third pile, of course. Ops for a guardian instead. So I think they're looking to snipe province. Uh, Marcusin buys a guardian as well. If Warfrat hesitated last in on the duchy, I expect them to do so here. Yeah, there's the gold. Alright. I think... Marcusin can buy that duchy if they want. Okay, they definitely can. They probably want to trash that guardian. Instead of the estate. The points seem very important. Oh, never mind. There's a win in the chat. <laughs> I'm not smart. Double Guardian for the win. Hey, that's, that's two for Marcusin. On first player and second player. Cheers. Alright, let's see how many more Marcusin can get in this match. That was a quick one. Let's get the big kingdom up. Big kingdom up. Sound like a Guyanese there. Alright, so here's your big kingdom. I hope you enjoy it. The black cat returns. Thank you for coming back to annoy me. So bad. So bad. There's never been a card like this in Dominion until this set. That's probably why. If it was like that from the start. Who's opening with vampire? What? Oh, they have the coffer. I thought they had 5 2 and just ripped the vampire out, but. No, the coffer makes it much more balanced. Never mind. Alright, catapult for Warfrat. Probably paired with our vampire as well. Marcusin follows suit. Alright, here's our three. Let's check this decision out. What are we thinking? 
Native Village, Silva, something else. All right, Marcus. Uh, oh, well, sorry. Warfrat trashes our copper, forces Marcus into discard. They get a three now. Do they follow with Silva or do they get Native Village? They get the Native Village, right? Okay. All right, Marcus in effectively forced to attack there. What do you get on five? Ooh, locusts trash their vampire. That is nonsense. You can't trash people, vampire. That's just plain rude. All right, well, they replace their vampire with a catapult. Not much. Yeah, that's probably as good an option as any. Okay, now I guess we see what Markusen looks for on their five. I'm inclined to lab. I am inclined to lab. The am ambitious. I don't even know if Counselor Room is that good. I was about to say the ambitious player might consider Counselor Room, but I don't think that's that good. Okay, they take the lab. Yeah, Silver makes sense for Warfrat. They would absolutely love to have a vampire back. You need money to buy it. Unfortunately. Alright, Marcus in with a second sil no, that's what? Oh, they have two silvers, Warfrat has the one. Native village sets aside and buys another native village. This is a great hand. The bat gets full value. You get to double trash with the bat. Plus make your opponent discard. I think you kill the necropolis. I understand there's only one pile of villages on the board. And maybe later you would like to have the necropolis. I still think you trash it. It's too much dead weight right now. And you have a big lead now, so... I don't know. Maybe you could afford to leave it, but I would trash it and buy a native village here or something. Let's see. They kept it. Okay, that's fine too. Like I said, you might want that later. So maybe they, they envision themselves needing it later. Three native villages now for Warfrat. They'll get that vampire back eventually wait 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 Marcus and trashed our silver oh Marcus and don't be like that you already trashed the, the wolf rat some um, vampire now you're dropping curses in the deck no but more importantly I think they would like to have that silver for themselves look they buy back our silver here to buy the five course cards curse more curses being dished out oof Warfrat has to be feeling a bit um a bit down there. Alright, this is good. A good turn for Warfrat. Good accumulation of money from the native village. And here's your fruit. Opting for trade instead of vampire at this point in the game. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, this looks like a native village trash too for Marcusin. Yep. Okay. Continuing to force Marcus in to discard is Warfrat. I expect they'll start putting curses back in Marcus in the deck soon too. That should be fine. Honestly. Between the bat and the catapult, I would say the curses are a problem. The discard attack is worse than the um, curses, I think. Five. What are we looking at? Perhaps stabilize with our lab and then kiln for gaining to really grow the deck, perhaps, is my initial thought here. Alright, native village. Um, oh, yeah, curses coming through from Warfrat now. Exchanging that silver to land a fairly powerful attack. Honestly, against your opponent. Alright.
So while Kristen is able to set aside a curse with her native village, I feel like okay, to set aside a curse and lab. A bit sad, but whatever. It'll pay off later, right? And there is a later. The game isn't ending anytime soon. This vampire from Marcus and best vampire I've seen in a long, long time. Okay, so now Warfrat replaces that trashed vampire. Cool. Trash is copper, Marcusin does. Yeah, forcing the discard. The discard attack is um particularly annoying. I must say, I must say. But this is how catapult games go. They're they're slow at the beginning because of all these discard attacks. Another one happens here. I swear Marcusin is probably just gonna um yeah, trash our silver at this point. Yeah, Native Village picks up that lab. Okay, so we have a good turn here. Uh, this in combination with the console room. Probably sees them, their deck, yeah. And there's a single baker. Yeah, this is rough now for... Um, for Warfrat, I think. The early vampire trash was, it was nonsense, you know? It's just not, um, not a reasonable thing to have happen to you and then still stay competitive uh, Marcus in has I would say close to perfect control over this deck it's just a matter of how they want to build it from here here seems an appropriate time to put a kiln in the deck though kiln on another native village and then you could build up either bakers or labs as you see fit yeah, there's the kiln. Okay, so the bat will trash just a single curse. Yeah. Makes sense. Another silver trash from Warfrat forcing the discard. I expect we'll see a resignation soon from Warfrat. Because they'll see this turn and then cry. Probably kiln on the baker. I would guess. You could think about kiln on the catapult too. But that doesn't seem as good as kiln on the baker. You know? You could even be a little more ambitious and go double kiln here. Maybe. Picks up some cards from the... Uh, Native village. Picks up some cards from the native village. I think. You continue to force Warfrat to discard. And have your bats clean up the curses. Instead of the catapult. Yeah. So just forcing the discard here. Is good enough. I think. Again here could be... Native, vill native village kiln lab of the vampire and then you're just you're gaining so many things oh ops for trade instead okay so that is for food for the um catapult yeah okay resignation all right so canada up to three three games Rather quickly, I must say. Half a point, at least. So Marcusin just has to take one more from the remaining three. And that'll be a full point to Team Canada. Obviously, Marcusin was blessed in that game. Trashing people's vampire. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Big Kingdom. Big Kingdom. Alright, we have an opening. Arms for Silver. Alright, and then Arms for Blessed Village for Marcus and Y. Oh, both players get the Blessed Village. And both of them don't really do anything. I lied. This five is important. 
We can't stop him, folks. It's too strong. <laughs> One more vampire. No? Yeah. This is our bridge troll game plus arms. I get like coven and into way of the owl. And look at this three piles of villages. Chilling. Chilling. Forum village green. Oh no, it's broken. And you can arms gain the forums too. Woo -hoo. All right, more blessed villages are being gained. I guess it's as good as anything to gain, to be honest. You might get something useful like Marcusin and hit five. That's useful. That's a draw. Lucas, trash cop, because that's whatever. That doesn't matter, I think. And gains our bridge troll. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Six. Second vampire. Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah. So we'll see probably village into all village. Yeah. I guess they kill the blessed villages. Is there anything else that useful? There's uh, still the plus buy one, right? There's still a coin somewhere. Hiding. Also, trashing is... You'll take the trashing, I guess. Arms. Yeah, there's village. That's a good one to get too. Sun. Hooray for sun. This is an interesting choice. <laughs> Do you even discard any of these? No, they don't actually, well. Cannot buy actions, that's fine because there's arms. Second bridge troll. See, the, the early vampire is nuts. Is <laughs> nuts. One shuffle earlier and look at the difference it makes. Alright, check this arms out here. Check it out, check it out. Watch this, watch this arms. Beautiful arms. What do you want? What do you want? You pick. Pick and choose, my friend. You could get almost anything on the board. A forum? What? Wait, what? Oh, arms is one card. What am I thinking of that gives you two cards? I don't know. But forum is cool. Oh my. I have to keep clicking to clear these boons and, and hexes. So Warfrat has bridge troll number two now. They'll get their bridge troll in play here. Um, Marcuson does not find their second bridge troll though, so that's too bad. Despite the efforts from the um, forum, so back on the bridge troll, bridge troll grind here. Vampire probably just gaining more trolls. No one other forum. Okay. I think one forum is reasonable combined with the owls. Really. So they could have done troll into. Oh. Oh, so they troll the draw. I was going to say they could troll for the plus buy additionally and then use the last village for draw. Why do they not want the plus buy? I guess. So this is awkward. No, you can still buy arms, can you? No? Yes? I don't recall if you could buy arms if you have that minus one token. Also, I think you wanted the plus buys, right? I don't know why these trolls still into owls. The villages, I would have expected to turn into owls, yeah. I don't know man. I, I think you just buy trolls. Just get all the trolls. And your opponent cannot do anything. <gasps> Revenge! Revenge! Anybody see that? Look, 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 look. Revenge! <laughs> I have been avenged. <laughs> you know vampire wars happening in this game? In this match? Alright, arms. Just take the troll. Just take the troll. Troll, 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 no. That's the that's the opposite of troll, actually. Bless the village, bridge troll. 
polar opposites. Okay, all the villages are gone now. All the blessed villages are gone now, I should say. That ugly silver gets dropped into Marcuson's deck. But I think they will make use of it because they're both contesting the trolls. You're never getting provinces down to zero then. Alright, alright, this should be a good turn for Marcuson, right? Yes, no, maybe? Looking good, looking good. There should be more villages in their deck, right? Okay, so they... They do that with the troll. It does drop the cost of things, yeah, but you lose the plus buy. Is the plus buy important? I guess not here, no. Well, okay, you could buy green on troll, right? But either way, you only get in one troll, is what I mean to say. Which is too bad. You would have liked more trolls. This is where the coven would have come in, right? It's actual money, so you get the plus buy, you could buy a troll and then arms or something. But yeah, it's hard. Like when do you play cov when do you buy covenants that are troll? Okay, this is a sad turn for Warfrat. We'll be able to get a troll. Okay, so you still can buy arms even with the token, so that's fine. Instead, they opt for a green and a troll, right? A little troll, troll, trolly, trolly, troll. How many trolls would you like? A lot. I want all of them. Okay, so they do take the penultimate troll. I expect Marcus in to take uh, the last one. Yeah, I I don't know about these owl trolls. I really think you want the plus buys so you could have options um, whether or not you want the arms or actually put treasures in play to buy things because you could potentially get more things with the buys great so there's some extra buys for Marcus in and here you don't want to buy arms you want to put treasures on the board and buy many things one of which is a bridge troll. Should probably start thinking about how to end the game here. Okay, the end of the game is actually very close because five trolls in play means the forum pile is empty. Something to keep in mind. That being said, I do not think Warfrat can put five trolls in play. I don't even know if they have five trolls. We will see. There's at least three of them in this hand. So there's four of them. Okay, okay. let me keep my mouth quiet. Okay, they did find the five. They had five. <gasps> but they don't have the actions. Oh, Marcus and Green with two provinces. Eh, okay. So here's just a question of whether or not they could... Um, Whether or not they could find uh, all the trolls. That would give them the win on the forum pile, provided they see that line, of course. Alright, Warfrat now putting treasures in play. Not getting arms. I was thinking of ball before. That gives you two gains. Alright, just a province for Warfrat. So let's see what Marcusin can manage. Bridge Troll, um, Blessed Village, followed by Forum, question mark. It has to be Forum, right? No, it's Troll, as all. Oh, they find it. They find all five. Yeah, they see the line. All right, cheers. Well, that, that has to be the <laughs> easiest match point I've seen for Canada so far. So congratulations Team Canada doing what they have to do to get back on top of the table. These games here might matter for tiebreaks so you still have to keep your head on. 
big kingdom. What do we have here? We have no plus actions. That's what we have here. We have menagerie, so. You do want to keep that in mind when you build tower. Also gives you points, but you don't really want to empty anything except menagerie. And even then, do you really want to do that? I don't know. Silver into Night Watchman for Marcusin. What is it that you want so desperately for five? Do we see a mirrored opening? No. Remodel Silver for Wharf Rat. Alright. Alright. Treasurer was the plan for Marcusin. It's reasonable. Another Silver for Wharf Rat. And a menagerie for Marcusin. Seems to have intentions of building a menagerie deck. Does Warfrat also have similar plans? Or is something else in their mind? I don't really know how good the menagerie deck is though. Second remodel for Warfrat. Okay. Not a problem. Takes the key. Your opponent does not have a treasurer, so that key will stick around for some time. Has an option here of taking a province. Very early. You would get four aqueduct points, but I think you still wait. Opts for Tormentor instead. Alright, looking for an imp. So clearly looking for a more action heavy deck is Marcusin. So far, Warfrat has the two remodels and a couple extra silver, I'd say. And here's more silver, even. So, seems like we have that uh, money heavy versus action heavy deck showing up again here. We saw that in game one between these two. Alright. Oh, Night Watchman. Okay, so Warfra takes the Duchy to deplete the Aqueduct. So these Aqueduct points, I think, are important. You do have to think about it because. Hold on, remodel turns remodel into gold, buys or silver. So they're repopulating the Aqueduct. Here's six for Marcusin, trashing a copper. Did they pick up an imp? They did pick up an imp. Okay, archive here is reasonable, I would say. So I was saying the aqueduct points are important here. Um, those are your alternative victory points on this kingdom. Tower, I don't think, comes into play very much. I don't think you could empty a pile fast enough. Radar, huh. I was wondering if they would get the radar. Okay, so Wolf Rat with the treasure are now. I assume they'll want to take that key back as soon as possible. Okay, so Marcus is now playing with three terminals. A lot of terminals, but I guess if you look at it like this, I have choices on what I want to play. <laughs> then it sounds a little bit better, I guess. So trashing again, menagerie, yeah. <laughs> radar misses entirely. I guess you do get to see your opponent's hand. Night Watchman ensures that this menagerie will draw three instead of one. Alright, so let's see Warfrat's decisions here. Looking at copper, silver, gold. What would they put into their hand? What would they put into their hand? I guess the gold and buy another archive archive with money and treasure does not seem bad at all here yeah there's the second archive okay so here's marcusin they get the imp with the archive as well so that is good Alright, so they would like to find one of their terminals, unfortunately. Three of the last four terminals. Night Watchman could deal with that though. So not, not too much of a concern. 
And there's no... Yeah. Okay. Let me see what they do here. Because this is interesting. I would guess... Another archive is best. And then you could top deck it. Okay, they take the gold instead. And now they have their choice of terminal here. Alright. Marcusin's deck is good. It's fine. Have a little bit more control than Warfrat. Whether we'll see what that materializes into. So they opt for a second imp. Warfrat responds with um, taking the key back and going for a province. Okay. And. Marcusin is able to snatch our province as well there. Archive saving that hand after the uh, poverty attack. Let's Warfrat get another province. And here's where the aqueduct points will probably be overwhelming for Marcusin. You know? I think it's just too much. Taking the key back, of course. Look, they, they are 11 points at drift. That's, that's two provinces out. I don't I don't think they have the gas for that. They 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 do have a remodel which they can see mostly anytime they want to see it. At least more often than Warfrat, but depends on Warfrat's shuffles. A little bit on Marcus and shuffles too, but like I said, they have a little bit more control. This is probably a duchy for Warfrat, yeah. Marcus just has to hit province after province after province here and hope that's good enough. They have the key to help them. <laughs> Why did I open my mouth? Look at this. Cursing, jinxing, blighting Marcusin. Is there anything in the archive? There isn't even an archive. There is no archive here. We have no archive for you. Oh, here are my action cards. How nice. Key comes back to Warfrat, picking up the province, and now I think that is it. Marcusin is too many points adrift, not even two provinces will win the game for them. Not even two provinces would win the game for them. I think they remodel their radar here and buy a duchy. That's probably the best they could do. Uh, they take the key back, that's fine too. Province Raider attack will go through. Huh. Between Treasure and Silver and Archive. Wow. That was a great Raider. Excuse me for suggesting to remodel it. That probably will keep them off Province for this turn. I would guess losing any one of them I think is enough to deny Province. So the silver gets discarded. Um, Warfrat could have picked up the province, remodeled province into province there for the win. So given, um, <laughs> given Marcusin an extra life here. Not great archives for Warfrat, but they're so far ahead. 11 points ahead. There's just no way. How do you catch that? You can't. And then they use Night Watchman to guarantee province in that hand. So that will round out the game here. I don't think there's anything Marcusin could do to prevent uh, Warfrat from winning it here. Even the discard attack, yeah, is insufficient. Money prevails. Money prevails for Warfrat. There. Alright, into game 5 now. F where are we? 4 to 1? Wait. Then this is game 6. Right? Can I count properly? No, 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 no. I think there was 3 before. 3 nil, 3 1 now. So. I think, yeah, Marcusin is still looking for that one win. 
What is? Why do these cards keep coming back? Young Witch and now Vampire twice. Young Witch twice. What are, what are these landmarky things? Ball. <laughs> There's no cost reduction here with the ball though. Okay, Warfrat with the 4 3 open goes for a sacrifice. There's Jack on the border. There's also Young Witch on the board. Shanty Town for Marcusin on the 3, reasonable. I'm saying there's Jack on the board because. You could play jack and money here. Maybe. I don't know. There's no plus buy. There is tournament to worry about. Marcusin does pick up the jack. But I still think you don't care about the tournament. I think you just play jack. There's vault even. Okay, young witch for Marcusin. And Warfrat gets that jack now. Alright, here comes... Marcus in Jack missing the shuffle, unfortunately. Yeah, discard that as they trash that one by Shanty Town. I mean, Shanty Town and Jack seem like great cards for for money. I don't know, not great. Look, okay, Jack is great for money. Shanty Town is good. Tournament? Do you want a tournament? Warfrat? What is he? Um, what is he plan here? A young witch? Okay, to counter Marcus in's young witch. Which promptly draws its jack dead. Ball for two tournaments. Alright. That is interesting. Sacrifice from Wolf Rat to get a tournament themselves. Okay, okay. Shanty Town into Young Witch from Marcusin. Shanty Town to draw Jack to draw into almost eight but not quite what is the decision here a ball forum What would you get on the ball, though? Do you want a sacrifice to start cleaning the copper from the deck? Or are you content to play with all those treasures? You could be, you know, you could be enough forum, fora, for I, I don't know, enough forums. I mean, you'll be okay most of the time. Long think here for Marcusin. Hops for ball and does take a sacrifice with that third tournament. Which I think is a lot of tournaments. It'll work out fine for now, as long as people don't have provinces. Though. Regular village for Warfrat. Probably thinking that there are too many actions in their deck for Shanty Town to be worth it now. Tournament again gets Marcusin up to five and opts for a vault. Wild hunt for Warfrat on their five. Sacrifice will get rid of the jack. I am not a fan of that. That jack seems important. To trash curses, to trash estates. I would rather trash the young witch there maybe they buy it back I don't know still no province hand for Marcus in. gets a gold okay okay alright Warfrat able to play their young witch Shantytown will draw into that village <laughs> Which if it had been a shanty town would have drawn two cards, but probably they didn't want to trigger the shuffle there. Alright, our second village for Warfrat now. So here's the vault. Is this province? Yes it is. Will they take it? They do. 
All right, so we're looking for prizes, it seems. Nice, that's a nice draw for Warfrat. Village into Wild Hunt, village again. Nice, so the, the sacrifice trashing is paying off a little bit here. Gets up to eight with um, a little bit better deck because of that singular Wild Hunt, I would say. A little bit more draw is all. Forum and village. So saying to Marcus in, I have time to get that province. Or maybe saying, I don't really care what the prize is. I'll play through it anyway. Alright. Here's a young witch. Coming out. Eight again. Second province for Marcus in. Alright, so opting to just trash our curse there is Wolf Rat. Not a great hand for Marcus in. Four with the tournament. What does he play here? On four. Would you like your jack back? That's something to think about. Takes a shanty town instead. Okay, okay. Alright, so we have our turn here for Wolf Rat. Forum first reveals, not reveals, draws into many good cards. Many, many good cards. In fact, perhaps too many. But they do discard Copper and Curse there. Jack to draw a few, unfortunately, doesn't trash anything. Uh, do you trigger the shuffle? I guess you do. Yeah, I, yeah it's bad. There are four cards there. I'm not sure what's in those four cards. I think all their cards are here, right? Do you want our province now? Warfrat? Yes? No? Maybe? Would you like to continue building? I think they could continue building. Forum plus something. I, I don't know about village, but maybe silver. And they, they should think of a province very soon, though. There's no plus buy, or rather the only plus buy is in the prizes pile, which you could only access via province. So that's something to keep in mind. Five, Moakusin. Four, um, yeah, makes sense. Wolfrat shanty down into Jack. We'll nick this curse off. And these forums, I expect them to save the turn. Yeah, there you go. Great work by the forums. Great work. I like it. I like it. Alright, so that tournament gets blocked, unfortunately. Does go ahead and trigger the shuffle with the young witch. Shanty town to draw. Into seven. <laughs> Less money than last time. <laughs> Consider a wild hunt here, perhaps. Yeah, there you go. Looking for their points elsewhere. And Marcusin has said that is enough. That is enough. Oh, that was the last game. Yeah, I remember now. I congratulated Canada and everything. Cool. So it ended 4-2 to two for Canada. B. They'll take that moving forward. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.